Morning, Steve here in Chicago with the grain comments. Well, it's Friday the 13th, but hopefully for traders, it's a lucky day because overnight there was uh, tweets, there were messages about that we're close to a phase one trade deal between U.S. and China. The interesting thing is that China really hasn't responded yet to uh, any of this news. But um, the rumor was that uh, if they roll back uh, the tariffs, existing tariffs, by 50%, and if they do not add tariffs on Sunday, the Chinese will come in and buy $50 billion of U.S. ag goods in 2020. Now, the previous high that they bought is $27 billion. So there's a lot of skeptics, number one, in that uh, what they uh, will agree to do. Uh, but number two, uh, what happens if they don't? How do we enforce a, a new deal if they don't follow uh, the new deal? You just put the tariffs back on. And so uh, we have seen a little bit of a setback from the overnight higher stock market and also higher grain prices. And I think we're all doubting Thomas's at this point and trying to figure out uh, just what is going to happen. Supposedly, uh, the uh, details of a potential deal might be announced as soon as today. So in asking around uh, people's opinions of this, um, a lot of people feel that this might be a rally to sell. 2020, uh, the news as far as more U.S. acres for corn and beans, bigger crops globally, is bearish. And that prices are too high if, if that happens in 2020. Always, uh, when we look back at 2019, uh, the, the big thing was the just the extreme weather here in the United States and the volatility that caused in prices. Uh, first, we couldn't get the crops planted. Then we couldn't get a rain on them. And then we couldn't, can't get them harvested, especially in North Dakota. So uh, a normal year, quote unquote, uh, probably would be bearish uh, to prices. We also don't know how uh, this is going to affect our export trade. Uh, to this point, uh, our export pay, especially in corn and wheat, has been bearish to prices. Number two, does a consumer come in and buy this uh, news? If I'm a user of corn, if I'm a user of meal, if I'm a user of wheat, do I just rush in here and buy 30 to 90 days of, of uh, futures to cover a possible rally? Uh, some people think beans could rally 50 cents. Uh, maybe corn and wheat 20 uh, each, 20 cents. And so far, beans have rallied 19 cents, corn 9, and wheat 16 cents. So um, is that as far as it goes? Um, the other thing is, as a farmer, do I lock in the basis? Do I sell cash on this rally? And uh, does this finally break the very strong basis for corn and beans that's uh, in the U.S.? And, and then uh, finally, uh, what does this mean long term? Is this uh, just a one-year deal? Uh, is this a six-year deal? Does this change the whole uh, playing field of uh, big exports out of South America and China has to buy from the United States? Or um, does anything come as far as intellectual properties are concerned and protection of, of U.S. intellectual properties? So there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, we're trading it on the positive side. And uh, the key is, do the funds just cover a little bit of their short corn, um, bean, and meal uh, positions? Or do they just get out of everything? And so that would be a big difference in, as far as uh, the extent of a price rally. So uh, we'll see if they come out with any details today. Uh, we'll try to survive uh, Friday the 13th. And uh, looking at South America, weather looks good in Brazil, but still a little dry in Argentina. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, as always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Invest Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.